Praise the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you to SOV. And my name is Dr. Victoria Vicki Lee Johnson. And today, God has just supernaturally set you up. I'm believing God to move in a supernatural way in your life. So get on that telephone. Tell him to turn on this broadcast because your life will never, ever be the same in Jesus' name. Our topic for today is Rapture Ready Number 2. You know, God dropped in my heart that, you know, the people need to get rapture ready. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is coming and he's coming soon in Jesus name. So we're here today to just kind of stir you up and shake you up and let you know you look at the gas prices, the presidential election and everything that's going on. Even not too long ago, we had earthquakes and just all kinds of crazy stuff that's going on around the world. God is on his way back, you know, and you feel that little voice inside of you saying, you know, get it right, get it together. You know, you know, you're, they said you were conscious, you're this, but it's God talking to you to straighten up and it's time to get rapture ready. I know he spoke to me. He said, you know, I want you to get rapture ready in my own personal life. And I know there's some things I got to clean up and not saying that I'm all that, but I know all of us have some things we need to clean up. So we're going to get rapture ready. Well, today God has blessed me tremendously to have a very dear person here today, Dwight James Jr. I want to welcome you to the set thank you. and thank Good you for be being here. my co-host. What an honor oh, and a privilege. You. Well, you're the man of the world. I know you've just went to the Virgin Islands not yes. too long ago and the yes. Lord's been using you to minister the gospel yes. there and the Bahamas mm -hmm. and just God has used you in a supernatural way. Now, I met you about 12 years ago, I guess, yes. or more. You were preaching in, and you're still preaching. <laughs> God yes, bless you and gave you, uh, set you up at All Roberts University. Yes. And uh, praise the Lord. And thank you for co-hosting well, with me today. Me. So where, what you're doing right now? Where is God leading you? Tell the people what, where he's taking you or what's in your spirit right now. What's going on? Well, um, as you said, I recently, about three, three weeks ago now, Returned from the Virgin Islands, mm -hmm. and now, I was, how was that? It was good. I was uh, preaching to a group of ministers and leaders in that wow. area, and so Ooh. I was teaching them on the uh, subject of finances and good. you know having a healthy view of money. All know. right, the billionaire mentality. Yes, sir. I mean, God does want <laughs> us to be prosperous. Yes, He does. But, you know, money is just a piece of that pie, mm -hmm. and so oftentimes when you hear about prosperity. You think only money, yeah, but it's just total. a piece of the pie. Yes, yeah, total. total life prosperity. Amen, amen. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I remember the Lord was speaking to me. He was telling me that money is just a tool. You yes. know, say that money, money is, is just, just a, tool. a tool. It's almost like, you know, we used a tool to get to the studio today. Some of us may have came by the uh, blue line, green line, the train, or came on a plane, or you came in your uh, RV, your car, your truck, you may even walk to the studio. That was the tool to use to, there it is. And so all money is, is the tool right. to get to, there it is. Now, and so that's just one of the tools. Now, you can say, well, I need a house and you use the tool of money to get the house. But another way of tool, you can inherit a house. So, uh, you know, God can just bless you with house. So it's a lot of tools. Oh, yeah. So it's only a tool. So we don't want things to have us. Amen. Right. We need to have stuff. Amen. That's right, and yeah. God has called us to be prosperous, yes. you know, totally. We need to look good, smell good, mm -hmm. live good, because the wealth of the wicked is laid up of the just, mm -hmm. and that's getting rapture ready. Mm -hmm. He promised that he's going to take that wealth, and it's ours. Yeah, he also Amen. said, you know, we can't serve God, we can't serve God and money. That's right. But we can serve God with our money. Amen. Come on, that's so it. that's the important thing. That's right. Like you said, money is a tool. We yes. just use it to bring yeah, glory to the yeah, kingdom. Yeah. And Jesus was not poor, saints. That's right. Hello. You know, his daddy was a carpenter. And he said, well, he didn't have nowhere to lay his head. But we're talking about he was a carpenter, so he could have built a house. He didn't have a place to live at that time. And even In when they... Region. Hello. Yes. Hello. And then he had a seamless robe and they gambled for it. So he had clothes. And then to have a treasure that stole from you. That's right. 
So broke, broke he, he was not. So when you say, well, I want to be like Jesus with poor. And, no, Jesus was not poor, yes. you know, and he, he don't want us to be poor. We are the righteousness of God. So Amen. I just want to encourage you today, you know, that, you know, uh, getting us rapture ready, you know, repent. And another one, you need to forgive folks. Hello. You know, you know, you know, you know. Come on. You need to forgive. It's time yes. out from holding those grudges because yes. God said, how can I forgive you if you don't forgive those? Yes. Proverbs talks about Hello? bitterness rots the bones. Ooh, Say that again. Bitterness rots, rots the, bones. the bones. And it opens up door for diseases. Yes. And you say, why I'm sick? Why? I mean, that could be one of the twos. Why? Because yes. you're holding on to stuff. You need to be quick yeah. to repent. It don't matter how many times you fall down, how many times you miss it, but get up, dust yourself off, run back to the things of God, fall back to the things, of, get back to God and repent. It don't matter what they did. Choose. I, was like, I don't feel it. I choose to forgive you. Yes. I choose to let you go. Amen. Amen. Anyway, I'm preaching, huh? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're preaching. <laughs> but, you know, today God has blessed us with a recording artist. Now, tell me about this recording artist. Uh, well, what's this going on? What's, Kim, what's Kim Branch. Okay. She's been singing since the age of two. Two years old. Yes. Wow. I mean, encouraging hearts of others mm -hmm. around the U.S. She uh, was included in a showtime at the Apollo with Vicki Winans. What? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And so she's from Philadelphia. She uh -huh. now lives in Los Angeles, California. Okay. And so she comes from an extensive background of gospel, R&B, and hip-hop. Okay. So and it's so, in the blood. Oh, yes. It's a, you know, it's power a generational in the blood. thing. Yes, it is. So that's beautiful. So without further ado, we want to introduce to you uh, our beautiful television audience, no other than... Kim Branch. Kim Branch. All right. Welcome. <laughs> Let's give her the Lord of Hey! Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you to the set. And, Thank you know, you. it's a blessing and an honor to have you here. And you brought a beautiful young lady with you. Yes, ma'am. Who, uh, who are you? Hello? <laughs> Kia Riley. Okay. And, you know, I want to welcome you to the set today. And, wow, you're going to be dancing today? Yes. Okay. How do you like dancing? I like it a lot. You like it a lot? Yeah. Okay. And is it, it's just in the blood to dance or you just, I just What got you into dancing? Well I Jump in know, there anytime. Sure. <laughs> I know I started at the age of three. Okay. And I just did ballet and then I like wow. I started doing other dances and I liked it a mm. lot. And how old are you? Eleven. Oh my God! Now I'll give you an opportunity to say hi to all your friends, your grandmother, your whoever you want to talk to. Talk look in the camera. This is your time. Go. Say hello. Uh, Just look right in that hi, camera. Hi everyone. Not just my family and my friends, but everyone out there. And I hope you are blessed by what me and my mom does today. All right. Well, thank you. That was beautiful. That was awesome. So, okay, Kim, you've been, wow, God has been using you in a supernatural way. I know yes. you've been at the center yes. a few times. Yes. And God just, God used to both of you at the center. That's why mm -hmm. I really put on my heart to bring you out and be on the broadcast. Thank and you. thank you for coming thank so much. You. And the song you're going to be ministering, you wrote it? Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. And the title of that song is what? Prophecy. Your prophecy, prophecy shall come forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your prophecy. That's right there is deep. What made you come up with that? Look, talk to us. Oh, well, basically one day um, back at home, um, we've been here about a year. So when I was back at home, I say in about 2004. Okay. Um, the Lord woke me up one day and uh, he just gave me like the, the first portion of the song. And then uh, as I was driving to work, I think maybe a couple of days later, he gave me the, the second portion of the song. And, and what I know now is that, of course, uh, when he gives you something, it ministers to you first. Yes. You know, and um, at the time, I was just singing the song. Yes. You know, uh -huh. I just had it on paper, uh -huh. went to go record it and everything along with some other songs. But uh, now I see the manifestation mm -hmm. of what God said to me when wow. he told me that morning in uh, 2006 to, to uh, move to California. Amen. You know, Amen. had no idea did that I would be And here. so you don't have any family here? Or no you just family. came on because God told you to come? God told me to come. Oh but of gosh. course he the surrounded obedience. me. Yes, he surrounded yes. me with beautiful people. Amen. You know, who become just like family members to me. Amen. 
Yeah, and I'm that's, blessed. That's beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know, when I think about your prophecy coming forth, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, it's no accident you're watching this broadcast. God has spoke some things into your spirit. And, you know, even as I, I, I hear that prophecy shall come forth, you thought some things were dead. Mm-hmm. And, but I believe as uh, would the ministry go forth today and as we just get into the things of God and, you know, those things that was dead is going to be resurrected yeah. in Christ. Amen. And your prophecy Amen. shall come forth. So, you know, I, I you ready to sing? I'm ready to okay, sing. Okay, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we want to introduce you. You can take stage and you're going to be dancing so you can prepare to dance. And we're just going to kind of flow and just flow in Jesus' name. So right. you can prepare to dance and glory to God. And I believe that your Faith prophecy alone. is going to come forth. Amen. Amen. Is that a good word? That's a good word. Oh my God. So Amen. music will be your cue. Amen. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus.